What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to LockSense. I'm your boy, Dr. Goo. I hope everybody's feeling iry. One of my subscribers, they asked me, hey man, do you think you can give me some tips on how to make your, how to make my fragrances last a long time or maybe last a little bit longer? I think he said he had Burberry in London for men EDT. As we all know, that fragrance doesn't last a very long time. I wish it did, but I will give you guys my tips and tricks on how to make it, your fragrance maybe stretch, maybe just a little bit longer. Okay, and so I want to break down the different types of fragrance concent concentrations. And uh, for instance, for example, um, on this denim blue box here by Versace, you guys can read it says E de Toilette. Okay, and so I just want to give you guys like what do these terms mean, and you know what are the concentrate levels and stuff like that. So I'm gonna break it all down for you guys, and then give you guys my tips on how I make my fragrances last a long time. Okay, so. I'm gonna break these down by the weakest to the strongest, okay? So let's begin. So the first category is called Eau Fresh, all right? This is gonna have about a one to 3% oil concentration in the fragrance. And pretty much what Eau Fresh means is it means fresh water, okay? Now normally Eau Freshes are not made with alcohol and uh, a good example of that would be Versace's Eau Fresh, okay? The next category is called Eau de Centaur, okay? And that means perfumed water. This one is made for children uh, ages three and younger, okay? Usually it's made with no alcohol and it's usually created from natural ingredients, okay? The next category is called Eau de Cologne or abbreviated as EDC. And what this means is it means water from cologne. Okay, now this is gonna have around two to 4% of oil concentration. Uh, it's more percentage of alcohol than oil concentration or fragrance concentration. And it, usually this one is weaker, it's lighter, it's not as long lasting. You're probably gonna get around three to four hours max from this fragrance, okay? Now, the next category is Eau de Toilette, or EDT, and this means, literally means fresh toilet water or toilet water. This is probably the most common um, fragrance concentration that you're gonna find, and this one has five to 15% of oil concentration. Like I said before, it is not as long lasting. It is gonna be longer lasting than a EDC or a Eau de Cologne. And uh, for instance, Dior Sauvage EDT, in my opinion, lasts longer than Dior Sauvage EDP. So it just depends, guys, okay? Depends on the fragrance, depends on the house, it depends on if it's made with synthetics or if it's made with naturals, it depends on your skin chemistry. There's just a lot that goes into it. But normally, an EDT is gonna last longer than an EDC, okay? The next category is called Eau de Parfum, or EDP, and this means water of perfume. This one's gonna have around 15 to 25% of oil concentrate. It is usually stronger than an EDT, but like I said, sometimes an EDT can be stronger than an EDP, like in the Dior case, okay? The Dior Sauvage case. The next category is Parfum, and this one is gonna have 25 to 35% of oil concentration, less percentage of alcohol to oil or fragrance concentrate, okay? The next category and the strongest category uh, of a fragrance concentrate is called Extrait de Parfum. And this is gonna have around 35 to 45% of oil concentration and um, it's probably gonna be the best performing fragrance, okay? It's probably gonna last the longest. Now, like I said, it's all subjective and it's also known as Elixir. So you have like Paco Robbins 1 million Elixir or Dior Sauvage Elixir. It's pretty much just an extract de parfum. You guys understand, I hope you guys understand. I know that was a lot of information. So now on to the tips and tricks that I use to make sure that you know, I'm getting the best use out of my fragrance, okay? I always moisturize before I apply a fragrance. When I get home from work, I take a shower, 
and then I apply my fragrance, okay? Now, I get home, I work swing shift, so I go to sleep, you know, as soon as I get home. But once I wake up, I do moisturize again, and then I apply my fragrance to my body, okay? To certain points to where I moisturize, and that's another point I wanna get into. Where you apply your fragrance, it does matter. So you gotta apply your fragrance to your pulse points, okay? So to your sides of your neck. I see a lot of people who spray right here, guys. No. To the sides of your neck, to the back of your neck, to your inner elbows, okay? To your hot spots, okay? On your chest area, you know, where your heartbeat is, and on in, in the back of your knees, okay? Like, you know, when you bend your knees, apply your fragrance there, guys. It goes a long ways. Also, you can apply your fragrance to your hair. If you have long, beautiful hair like me, all right, I'm not being conceited, but if you have long hair, apply it to your hair, guys. If you have nice, fine hair, or if you can pick your hair or comb through your hair, apply a couple spritz to the brush and then comb your hair out, guys, all right? Fragrance loves to stick to hair. Hair loves to absorb and, um, you know, cling to smell. So if you ever smoked before or something like that, you know, your hair is gonna hold a lot of this the smell. So apply fragrance to your hair, guys. It ain't gonna damage it, all right? And uh, another thing too is uh, sometimes, guys, it's just the fragrance, all right? It's just the fragrance, man. Like, you know, I, I can't really think, uh, Burberry London for men EDT, guys. Even when I moisturize, it still is only gonna last me five, six hours, which is pretty good for that. Okay, it's pretty good for that fragrance. I wish it lasted longer, but sometimes, guys, it's just the fragrance. Sometimes it's just your skin chemistry, too. All right, some of y'all, you know, I've experienced it before, too, where I get dry skin, you know, and it happens. Uh, if, you, if you deal with dry skin, uh, pick up a quality moisturizer. Uh, I use CeraVe. And you can use this on your face, you can use this on your body. It doesn't matter, guys. It's a, it's a fragrance-free, and that's another point. Use a fragrance-free moisturizer, okay? You don't wanna be using a lotion or a moisturizer that has a fragrance in it because it's gonna muddle the fragrance that you're gonna be applying to your skin. If you wanna just get the true smell scent of your fragrance that you're applying to your skin, use a non-scented, or fragrance-free moisturizer. And don't cheap out on the moisturizer either, guys, okay? Look, buy a quality moisturizer. I think I bought this for like 10 bucks, okay? At Costco, it came in a pack of two. It was actually 20 bucks, but each one of these are like 10 bucks. Lasts me a long time, okay? And another thing, store your fragrances properly. There have been countless times where I've went to somebody else's house and they have these nice, beautiful bottles of these niche colognes that I wish I could own and they store them in their damn bathroom. Guys, you wanna stick away from storing your fragrances in your bathroom. The constant changes in temperature, the humidity, uh, it's gonna destroy your fragrance. Keep your fragrance out of direct sunlight. Keep your fragrance in a dark, cool place, like in your closet. Also, if you can, and if you can start doing this, keep the boxes to your fragrances. Keep your fragrances in the boxes, in the original boxes. I understand, I know a lot of YouTubers like to display their stuff behind them in nice little like shelves and stuff. The reason why I don't do that or I don't do it yet is because number one, I don't have one. And uh, number two, I wanna keep my stuff out of direct sunlight, okay? Direct sunlight will kill your fragrance, all right? And so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you know, also, you know, if you have to apply more than a couple sprays, overspray. There's nothing wrong with overspraying, okay? You might offend some people, but who cares what other people think? If you want to overspray and you, if that's what you like, because I do it, do it. Stop caring what other people think and do you. Serious. If you do you, and you stop worrying about other people in life, you're gonna go far. So, well, guys, I hope you guys enjoy those tips and tricks. I have other videos coming. 
I understand this was a long video, but I hope you guys learned something from it. I certainly did, okay? And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked it, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your son of the day is. My son of the day today is Bulgari Aquamarine, and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm your boy, Dr. Goo. See ya.